I am Adil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question based on unit vectors. Now many times you are asked a question, can the sum of two unit vectors be a unit vector? Here we are going a step ahead. We are saying yes it can be, but now what is the difference? So the question for you is, if sum of two unit vectors is a unit vector, find the magnitude of their difference. So that is the question for you. You can pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let's look into this question in greater details. We are saying, if sum of two unit vectors is a unit vector, now that part itself sometimes is in an independent question. How do we solve it? Well, the solution is an equilateral triangle where each side is one unit. So, so if I have this as one vector, another vector which is 120 degrees to that vector. So what I'm trying to say here is that if I extend this and sketch another vector which is 120 degrees of magnitude 1, in that case, it results into a resultant whose length will also be 1. So what we'll notice here is that we get a unit vector with angles inside the triangle being 60 degrees. So you're familiar with the right tri uh, with the equilateral triangle with one unit as the length. So that forms the first part that is sum of two unit vectors is a unit vector. So you do get sum of two unit vectors as a unit vector if the angle between the two vectors is 120 degrees. Do not write 60, right? So, so the angle between the two vectors is 120 degrees. Now, in this part, we are looking into the magnitude of their difference, right? So we are looking into the magnitude of their difference. So let's say, let's say this vector is A for us. <coughs> Let me write down A and B. Let's say this is vector A for us and that is the vector b for us. Then what is minus b? Minus b will be in this direction, correct? So let me sketch this for you. So we have b here, so the minus will be in the opposite direction. So that becomes minus b and clearly a minus b will now be the vector joining from here to there, right? So it will be a vector which is right. So this vector is here is a minus b vector. Perfect. So that is how you get a minus b. So we need to really find what is the magnitude of a minus b. I hope that is clear, right? Okay. So let's work on this particular geometry. So what we know from here is that this angle should also be 120 degrees, right? Vertically, uh, no, I'm sorry. This angle should be, because here we have 60 degrees, correct? And 180 minus 60 is 120 degrees. So that is how you get this angle as 120 degrees. Now from the diagram, we know this length of A and B is same. They are both unit vectors. So we have an isosceles triangle here, right? So we have an isosceles triangle. Let's label this triangle. Let's say O, A, and this point is B, and this point is B dash. So what we find from here that the triangle O, A, B dash is an isosceles triangle. Correct? So in that case, the, the angle at these two sides, that is the angle A, O, B dash, will be equal to 30 degrees will, and will also be equal to angle at A, B dash, O. 
So both of them will be 30 degrees. So we have 120, 30 and 30. So that shows that the angle BOB dash is equal to 90 degrees, right? 60 plus 30, which is so so that means that the triangle BOB dash is a right triangle. Clear? Now if you look into this right triangle, then we know the magnitude of OB, the magnitude of OB, since it is a unit, is 1. We also know that the magnitude of AB is equal to magnitude of BB dash, correct? Which is also equal to 1, right? So we know the sum of magnitude which is magnitude of BB dash is basically 2, right? So, so from this situation, we know that this magnitude BB dash is 2 units, correct? And this is 1 unit. And we have a right triangle right there. Perfect. 2 is the hypotenuse. Correct? 2 is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So from Pythagorean theorem, so we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. And we can find that OB dash is really equal to square root of 2 square minus 1 square, which is square root of 4 minus 1 which is square root of 3. Is that clear? Since in a right triangle, we know, let me write down here, we know BB dash square is equal to OB square plus OB dash square. Correct? That is from Pythagorean theorem. So if you rearrange, then OB dash square will be BB dash minus OB dash OB square. Let me rewrite. So basically from here, I just missed these steps. So this square should be equal to BB dash square minus OB square. Is it okay? So from there, you can square root and get the answer. So you clearly see that the difference of these unit vectors is going to be square root 3, which is option D. Perfect. So I hope with this, you understand that the unit vectors sum could be a unit vector, but their difference in that case is square root of 3. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Share my videos with your friends. Thanks and all the best.